calling. Your conversation may be recorded or monitored to enable us to provide an ever-improving quality of customer care. Your expected wait time is... One minute. Your position in queue is... First. Your call is very important to us. Please hold and your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. Peter for DrVOIP.com. Do you need to get a new customer service queue operational in the shortest possible period of time at the lowest possible cost uh, in both time and money and also provide some very sophisticated features? Then uh, I think that we have emerged as a result of an experience with um, several hundred contact centers. Uh, running the Cisco UCCX um, version 8 or higher. The current version as we do this uh, video is 10.6, uh, but the script will run on anything 8 and higher. And so uh, what we've come to find out is that there are a set of features that we feel is essential uh, in all contact centers. And so if there were a way to create a script that provided this uh, functionality yet was highly customizable, that would be a good thing to do. So that's what we mean by script reuse and portability. So the script is uh, dynamic and enables you to, based on the number that is called, uh, the script will uh, reach out into a database and pull in the parameters necessary to fire off that script and have it be customized, but reusable. So basically the same script for all your customer service queues, but it's reconfigured on the fly based on the number dialed you have the ability to uh, manually open and close a CSQ. A lot of times supervisors want to be able to close a queue for a meeting. Uh, so we have the ability to uh, open and close that queue. Supervisor calls an IVR application, puts in their PIN number, identifies the queue, and they're offered the opportunity to record a new closed message. We're in a meeting until 10 o'clock. Thanks, please call back. Transfer them to the message center. Uh, we do a number of holiday checks and the agents logged in checks. It's, it's amazing how many times you'll find uh, somebody queued a caller to a customer service queue in which there were no agents logged in. We try to avoid that. And then you want to have customizable queue options. So I want to be able to play custom uh, care messages. Uh, so we have uh, the ability to point to different prompts based on the customer service queue. You can turn on, turn off, estimated wait time, play the position in queue, whether you offer options like transfer to operator or transfer to voicemail. Uh, we have the ability to offer a call back uh, to the caller such that they don't lose their place in queue. Uh, we actually uh, offer them the option if they select it. We ask them to record a brief message that will be played to the agent uh, before the call is returned. Then we collect the number that we should call them back at and let them go about their way. Uh, at that point, when an agent becomes available in queue, um, the agent will hear the message that the caller left and the call will be automatically dialed and the agent will be connected. Extended hold options, if you got folks out there in a situation in which you, you're unexpectedly high demand, uh, we have some extra options for that. There's an emergency locator service, which I'll describe in a, a subsequent slide, but um, the ability to go find some other agents outside the script, and of course the ability to uh, email notifications to supervisors based on certain conditions within the system. We also have the ability to set some custom layouts so we can push notices out to the agents. So for example, the name of the CSQ. So if an agent is in multiple CSQs, it might be nice if he knew which CSQ he was answering. Uh, the conventions we use uh, to, to create this environment are basically a combination of JavaScripting and, and XML uh, database lookup. So, uh, we, we use DNS, the number dialed, to 
retrieve from an XML file the various parameters needed to configure this uh, queue. The after hours customer service requirement or emergency locator capability uh, enables us to uh, say to the client, you've called us after hours, but if this is a real emergency, hold the line and we'll go find someone. And we hold them in the queue um, and this enables this to be captured in your reports. So you'll be able to capture details about uh, how many people called after hours and requested service. You'll also get uh, information about agents. And what we'll do is we'll hold the caller and then we'll go process a list of uh, agents that are available to handle this. We call the agent up, ask them if they're available, uh, if they accept the call. Um, we then go get the caller on hold and uh, connect them. So it's um, an excellent uh, uh, solution. I think the uh, uh, callback option uh, coupled with the locator option and the various options we can provide a caller and queue uh, make this a very powerful uh, script. And keep in mind, again, it's not the answer to everything, but it is the answer to a quick, low-cost implementation. Uh, give us a call. We can help you with this. I hope you have found this informative, and I thank you for viewing. Thank you for calling. Your conversation may be recorded or monitored to enable us to provide an ever-improving quality of customer care. Your expected wait time is... One minute. Your position in queue is... First. Your call is very important to us. Please hold, and your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. Please record a brief message that will be played to the customer service representative before your call is returned. Please state your name, phone number, and some details as to the nature of your...